it's Jeff Greenberg, and today I want to take a dive into some of the problems around HDR, that's high dynamic range video. In November of 2020, Apple shipped the iPhone 12 Pro. And the day they did, it became the number one high dynamic range HDR video camera. It specifically supported Dolby HDR. Now, this is an example from Dolby's website. That's Dolby.com Technologies Dolby Vision. And on the left, this is the HDR version of this picture. And on the right, this is the SDR. That's standard dynamic range. Now, high dynamic range represents a better ability to capture light and color than before. Older devices don't have this. This is about sharper contrast and color. It's not just turning up the brightness and saturation. And the problem is, is that if you give some of this video and it's not handled correctly, the complaint you're going to get is it looks blown out. If you've got a TV that supports HDR, there are a couple ways you can check it. One is you could just take your phone and use the AirPlay feature. If you've got Netflix, you can go ahead and you can go to this specific URL and do this HDR graphic test on your television set. That's a little hard to give you the URL. So I built this bit.ly link, bit.ly slash Netflix HDR test. And there are about six tests here. When you play it back, you'll get a flag on your screen almost right away that might say HDR or Dolby Vision. This is a sign that your set has HDR capabilities. Now, when this works, it's great. You shoot on your phone, you share to your friends on iMessage, through YouTube or Vimeo, through AirPlay. Apple devices handle this fine, handle the screens fine when it doesn't work. Sharing with people who it's not handled correctly, they're going to tell you it looks weird, it looks blown out. First thing I need to do is show you how you can tell if your footage is HDR. We're going to start on our phone and take a look at ways we can see if our footage is HDR. Then we'll look at Apple Photos, our Mac, and finally, QuickTime and VLC Player, all of which can show whether or not our content is HDR. And the easiest way to do that on the phone is just to dial up photos. You'll see the HDR designation in the top left of one of your videos. Unfortunately, even though you can click on a video inside of photos and say information, it doesn't show you anything that says this is HDR. A cool trick I figured out was in photos, if you go and you build a smart album and you say that the item happens to be video and an HDR, so that's photo is video, 3000 items, and the photo is HDR, I now have 300 items in my library that happen to be HDR video. On your Mac, if you click on any individual piece of video and you right click on it, you can say get info and it should show a color profile of BT 2020 HLG. That's the sign that this happens to be an HDR shot. If you double click on the video, it'll open up QuickTime Player 10. If you go to the window menu, you can choose show movie inspector. When the inspector pops up, you'll see some general information. And then if you dial open the video details, you can see the HDR type and it should show Dolby Vision. Not everybody uses QuickTime 10, especially if you're on Windows. A fantastic alternative is VLC Media Player. And again, it's a free open source tool. You load your video, you go to the window menu, and you choose media information. And just like QuickTime 10, just like the Finder, this gets you information about your media. And in this case, instead of being on the general tab, we want to go to codec details. And what we're looking for here is that the color primaries are BT 2020, or that the color transfer function is hybrid log gamma. This is how we know this is an HDR clip. So you want to turn this off at the source on your iPhone, go to settings, scroll down to camera. Choose record video. If you scroll down HDR video, this is what you'd want to turn on or off.
And while conventionally in the OS X ecosystem, if you're in iMovie or Final Cut or using Photos or even QuickTime, and you go to export it out to another format, it'll do a conversion well. But you should know how to convert it yourself, especially if someone is complaining that your video looks blown out. I'm going to use a free tool called Shutter Encoder. It's a Swiss Army knife of conversion, and it's perfect for this use. I exported this video unmodified out of photos, and I'm going to use Shutter Encoder to convert its color space. So I'm going to drag the video into Shutter Encoder's window. I'm going to go to Colorometry, and I'm going to have it convert the color space from Rec 2020 to Rec 709. And then I'll have it do its encode. The resulting file looks really similar. It's not the same. It's got a little bit different brightness, as we've discussed. And that's really the difference, that HDR can carry more better looking picture than SDR, standard dynamic range. So that was the least you needed to know to deal with some of the HDR headaches out there. I'm Jeff Greenberg. I'm Film Geek on all your favorite social networks. I hope you found this useful, and please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching.